you know in a stress management workshop or stress management concept we always talk about three things you know you fight you flee or you flow so people i talked about the doctors the healthcare givers the people who are providing essential services to our community they are the fighters right now people who are victims people who are patients they're fighting and most of us are fleeing because you are fleeing from the problem right we are quarantining ourselves we are maintaining social distances we are trying to do all kind of precautionary measures so that we are not closer to the problem closer to the viruses so that we will not get infected that's the fleeing part of it and the flow there could be more interpretation but to me flow means divining divine flow the flow of grace the flow of divinity the flow of spiritual energy the flow of pranic energy this flow of prana shakti energy and this is called the flow so if you look at the flow it talks about more sattvic energy if you take the fighting it's more of rajasic action and if you think about the fleeing it's a little bit more tamasic and we need both you need all three we need both sattvic you need all sattvic tamasic and rajasic so you need to have a mixture of all these things because you never know when the problem might come to our life so you have to prepare ourselves how to fight so fighting fleeing and divine flow all three are very important strategy right now to deal with this pandemic but the fourth aspect is very dangerous the four f the fourth f so fight flee and flow or allow the flow to come inside the fourth f is fear right so we can't afford to have fear whenever you have fear about the fear you know they say that the anticipation of the fear is more fearful than the fear itself like for example if you are going for taking a shot like particularly when you were children the anticipation of the fear of poking a needle onto your skin is so fearful so dreadful but when it comes you know it just like a little pinch right it just like a fraction of a second the needle goes inside but the actual fear is not there when there is real thing happens but the anticipation of that is so much it builds up so likewise there could be a lot of fear factor because of social media because of so many things happening you are able to understand everything you are able to hear about all different dimensions of this problem but at the same time unless we think about the spirit within think about the life force that is flowing inside you, you can't co- overcome this fear we have to really go inside as i talked about yesterday when you can go outside it's a beautiful picture that somebody sent i think it went viral a person with a meditation posture if you can't go outside go inside so if we can't go outside let's try to go inside because inside as i told yesterday there is a substratum there is a pure consciousness that is our foundation that's the rock bottom unless we touch upon that rock bottom we cannot get the amount of courage that is required right now to overcome this pandemic will be impossible so friends i'm talking about the spiritual renaissance is is an opportunity in disguise every time there is a problem happens to the mankind the mankind by the grace of the sat chit and ananda the bliss factor we always become creative we always try to find solutions as the saying goes the necessity is the mother of invention so i believe this is a big opportunity for us to think about the aftermath of industrial revolution that happened and how we can balance that with some kind of a spiritual revolution and spirituality is not necessarily religion in fact baba ji maharaj who i follow one of the spiritual masters he talked about when the religion ends the spirituality begins and when the spirituality ends the reality begins so before we get realized onto the reality aspect of it at least we have to understand the concept of spirituality which is nothing but the spirit of courage the spirit of love the spirit of trust the spirit of human communication the doctor spirit the spirit of health worker the spirit of all the people who are helping us right now i mean think about how much of mistrust if something happens to my wife 
should I socially distance myself? Of course, one way it's logical, but look at the other side of it also. And if you look at the history of mankind, we have overcome many of these problems by faith. So faith can heal. The placebo effect is a science. The faith itself is the biggest science. 33% of all the work that is done, even by the medical community, is healed with this factor called placebo effect, 33% of it. You know, one of my teacher, he asked this question, like you know, when I go to the, any of, of the nursing homes or anywhere, there will be a Bible at the drawer. He used to tell me that everywhere there is a trust factor, there is a faith factor. The doctors can only do so much, but after they have done so much, they always depend on the faith, depend on the grace. So unless we invite the grace, unless we invite the flow of the divine into us right now, we cannot really experience the spiritual dimensions of our life. We are more spiritual beings than human beings. We are having a human experience, but we are truly spiritual beings. So, the topic of today is to how to invoke the spirituality within us collectively, so that we can rise over the fear. As I talked about being an eagle, when there is rain, you don't try to find a shelter, try to go over the rain so that there is no rain. So we have to have that eagle spirit, we have to have the doctor spirit, we have to have the spirit of people who are helping the mankind right now. And then we can join forces together, all the nations together. We can work out a strategy which will create an opportunity for us to rise over and to create a lot of this precautionary measure so that in future it happens again, we can combat this kind of pandemic in a much calmer way, more peaceful way.